with the launch of the Galaxy S8 and the Galaxy S8 Plus, Samsung decided to create their own personal assistant called Bixby. And not only that, but they also added a physical button for Bixby, which is located right below the volume button. So whenever you press it, it will launch Bixby and then from there it will be similar to Google Assistant and Siri and everything like that to where you can have your Bixby experience right from a press of a button. Not everyone is a fan of Bixby and they'd rather use that button for different functions. And that's what I want to show you how to do today. So there's an application called Bixby. It's originally featured on XDA and you can download it from the Google Play Store for free right now. It does contain ads as well as in-app purchases. But you can download it for free. Once it is downloaded, just go ahead and launch it. You can get this little warning about how it hasn't been tested on a real device yet, but that's not true as the application has been downloaded thousands of times and people are saying this works pretty well. Some say it works about 90% of the time. Others say it works very well. So your mileage may vary. So once you launch it, just go ahead and tap the I have read and understood. Tap on continue. So now we have it set. We're, we're changing Big Spot Bixby to voice assistant. And if you tap on that blue option right here, you can see all the other options that we can have. So we can have it set to our default voice assistant, which could be Google Now or Google Assistant or Cortana or whatever else you have set on your device. You can choose it to have to launch a specific application. You can bring up the power menu bring up the recents slash overview page the home you can make it act like a home button or a back button you can use it to toggle the flashlight on and off you can have it do nothing just in case that maybe you press it by accident when you try to press the volume down button and if you set it to nothing then nothing will happen you can set it to a specific tasker plugin or you can have it launch the phone dialer so we're just going to keep it on the default voice assistant for now. Once that's done, just go ahead and enable. So once that happens, just scroll down a bit and then you're going to see Bixby in the services section. Go ahead and tap it, toggle it on, grant these permissions. These are required in order for that button to intercept that action. Now when we open up Bixby, we can see that the toggle is on. So now whenever we press that button, it's going to launch Google Assistant. So alternatively, if we want it to launch a specific application, You can just go through your list of applications. We'll tell it to launch Magisk Manager. So then whenever we press that, Magisk Manager pops up. Now you will find some options here that simply do not work properly. For example, toggle flashlight just toggles it on and off incredibly quickly. I tried the power dialog and it just launches Bixby. So some of these options work, some of them do not. Definitely worth checking out though if you have no intention of using Bixby 